Blah. I ain't gotta do the dumb shit that other motherfuckers do. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it plain and simple. Uh, that's what the ladder is for. You hear me? Yeah. You go up there and jump like the rest of the dummies if you want to. Break a leg, break an ankle, or break your motherfucking neck. Now, I, I don't take the ladder, my nigga. <laughs> yeah. You know, we on high side. I'm a lag bitch. What happened to cook? Oh. Like he fell off the fell off the house or something. Yeah. I'll be sitting up there with my nigga, goddamn me. When y'all on the same roof, yeah. Oh, but he decided to jump. He was trying to get me to jump first. I know. They always try to get you to jump first, and then when they jump, you see they dumb ass fucked out. You dig what I'm saying? Let me get you some more game too, man. Now nah, come on up here. This one right here, it, it, it might cost you if you get out of line. I gotta look at you. You know, I, you know, I, I ain't gonna swing on you today. I'm gonna let you make. You know, I swing on you quick, don't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> my boys, you know, I don't play no game. Take off, take flight. That's my game. I don't whoop them, but I will take off when they motherfucking have they act like they got them. We got some. <coughs> Cause let me tell you something. Let me give you the, the, the last piece of game. This is going to be my last. This is my closing testimony, my, my closing argument. Let me tell you something, man. Stop disrespecting your mama, man. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Stop disrespecting your mama, homeboy. You seeing? Yes, sir. You know, I know one thing, once you done done it, and it's easy to do, you'll continue to do it. You hear me? I'm going to say it again. Once you done did it, and it's easy to do, I'm not around. Because you see my mama in there? I ain't never disrespecting my teacher on home, boy. Huh. Never. But let me give you some game. Every time you disrespect your mama, you take some life off of you. That's what you don't know. See, that's the part they don't tell the kids. Let me tell you again what I just said. Every time you disrespect your mama like you be handling that shit, the only thing you're doing to you is taking some life off of you. I don't know how many days you done took off Already, because we don't know how long God given us. God gonna already give you got a certain quarter already when you come in this motherfucker. God give you a certain amount of time to live. He already know what time it is, but the time that he give you, you can start with the nine. But all that dis every time you disrespecting your mama, you just steady knocking out gears. You started with a nine, you look up and you down to a three. You wonder how the fuck you got to a three all day though. Fuck mama, I ain't coming home. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. I ain't doing that. And, and they say, hey, do you know what respect is? Yes, what is it? Have respect for your elders. Uh, fuck some elders, just respecting a nigga, period. You know how to respect the next man. Yes, sir. That's it. That's it. Let me tell you something. You know how you respect the next man. You gotta check a motherfucker disrespect your mama. How can you check another nigga and you disrespect your mama? How can you be in a gang and you disrespect your mama? You ain't shit, you gonna end up dead. You getting killed by the streets and you getting killed in life. Cause every time you don't come home, every time you do this and you do this and you do that to your mama, the only thing you doing is taking, a couple, taking some days out. Maybe be, maybe some minutes. But let me let you know, every time you do it, you're taking some off your life, homie. Need some man, that nigga stay with his mom. Shit, I'm glad I can. I ain't never disrespected him. Huh? I can come home when the fuck I want to. A lot of niggas can't. A lot of niggas wish they could now. See they mama. Let me tell you another thing. All that going to the jail and shit your buddy and them doing? They don't, ain't nothing, they gonna go down motherfuckers and find out, ain't nobody gonna be here when they come home. 
I'm already 52 years. You get 50 years, nigga, what the fuck I supposed to be when you come home? Yeah, after you 50 years, your mama already at a certain age. Where the fuck she supposed to be when they come home? These niggas getting all this time, that these people lock their ass up for all this time. All they doing is wasting the, the time they can be spending with their loved one, mama and daddy now. I could have been at the key. Now, now you're in that bitch boohooing and crying and snotting and rolling on the motherfucking floor trying to kill yourself because your mama and daddy didn't die while you locked up. That hurt. Something happened to your daddy or your mama and you locked up. Nigga, you be sick. Boy, you'll cry like you ain't never cried. Nigga, they told me my sister died when I was locked up. I'm like, my sister? Hell no. My little sister, Charlotte? Yeah, she's gone. I fell on the floor. God, that was my sister. That's like somebody calling you, tell you, Peyton just found, got found dead. And I fucked you up. It don't even sound real. How the fuck you think I feel? They told me, nigga, your brother down on the side of the club. Somebody killed your brother AD. You a motherfucking liar, nigga. Who? No, who you talking about? Hey, this nigga. Wrong nigga. Talking about my motherfucking brother. I gotta go see for myself. Let me go see. Cause if you don't respect your mama, tell you right now, ain't shit good gonna go for your mama. That's all I can tell you. Hey, no matter what's this, the sad thing, no matter what your mama do. I had to accept the same thing too with my mama. No matter what she did, I still couldn't cross that line. But guess what? I had to say, God to get her for that. I gotta stay in place. You feel like your mama mistreating you in some type of way or, or wronging you in some type of way or quit, quit. You're not going to get nowhere like that. You hear me? Yes, sir. Because guess what? Your mama wants you to have it too, man. I know she got a fucked up way of showing it. But you ought to be used to that by now. That's what she do. You know how daddy is. <laughs> and y'all know how Pam is. Y'all dig what I'm saying? Y'all run circles around Pam. Daddy going to smash the gas on the motherfucker. You hear me? Yes, sir. Now, nah, real talk. But just because I match the gas and your mama don't, man, don't. We, we both do the same respect, homie. You hear me? Yes, sir. Guess what? You don't give it to us? I say, I'm going to earn mine. But you disrespect me, I'm going to take flight on your motherfucking ass. Right off the top. No, I'm not going to play with you. But for you to disrespect your mom, you know she don't. <laughs> God going to take something off the top. <laughs> you motherfucking ass. You hear me? Boss. God going to take his.